I finally stepped outside of my comfort zone and tried a new shampoo and conditioner. I used the Olaplex number four and five and I absolutely fell in love. I detangle or put that blow dryer in my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with this Tresemme heat protectant. This is a really important step and if you're not doing this in your hair routine, you need to start. I went ahead and bought the Viral Unbrush and y'all, this thing works wonders. I don't know what technology they put in this, but it literally glides through your hair like butter. And I use this on my son's hair. He's the reason I got it in the first place, but basically it glides like butter, it detangles, and you don't get any shedding hardly. Like your hair is not being pulled out. Y'all always see me do this next step, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time blow drying my hair, but I am going to say, it is really important that if you are going to do a silk press, you need to make sure you blow dry your hair really well. And I don't mean like just set it on a high setting and blow dry until it's burnt or anything. I mean, make sure you're getting your roots really well, make sure you're flicking the wrist, you know, all of that because it does play a big part in how your silk press comes out. I like to go in in between blow drying and add this cheese serum just to get it a little bit more silky. And I do like to blow dry my hair in different directions just to give it a little bit more body because I'm not straightening it today. And also this helps get it really dry. It's also time for me to go ahead and trim my hair. So basically I just part it down the middle or down the center and then I do another part right behind my ears. And if I see any hairs that look straggly or uneven or see-through, I just cut it off. So I can't forget this step. I'm using my Cura Care wax stick around the perimeter of my head and this helps me get those flyaways sitting down. It also really presses out the hair. So it's not like super greasy or anything, but your edges will seriously lay slick. So remember I said we are not going in with a flat iron, but I am gonna go ahead and just add some curls to my hair because for the first time I'm using these Velcro rollers. I want this blowout type look and I figured that these Velcro rollers would be the best to do that. I did struggle a little bit trying to use these for the first time and I honestly cannot even explain how to use them. But basically, after you curl your hair, you are going to take the roller while the hair is still really hot and form the hair around it. Basically, the Velcro is what keeps your hair attached. And then you just roll it up and it stays in place. So I'm gonna do that throughout the hair. And if you notice, whenever I'm curling my hair, I don't get super close to my scalp because I still want it to be a little fluffy in there so I can have big hair, if that makes sense. I want some volume and this is the best way to get that. These rollers do come in four different sizes, like in one bag. And I got them from Target. I think these were like 10 bucks for the whole bag. But anyway, I used the pink and purple. These are the largest sizes. And I tried to use the purple closest to the front of the head and in the very back of my hair. That's where I want the most volume.
So taking these out wasn't too bad, but I, I started out wrong and that was my fault. Um, I should have watched a video before, but you need to hold these a certain way and twirl the hair out of the roller so you're not pulling your hair. And when you put these in, you wanna make sure you don't stick that Velcro to any other hairs besides the hair that it's wrapped around. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm kinda trying to show y'all. So whenever you take them out, hold your hair at the base and then twirl the hair around the roller and that'll help the hair come out. And as you can see right here, I had the roller um, attached to other pieces of hair so it made it a little bit difficult to come out. I thought the style turned out really cute. I think the rollers definitely made a big difference and I'll continue to use them in the future. I'm just gonna go through and play with the hair and kind of style it to my desire, but do you guys see how much volume I have? definitely given like messy kind of 80s hair <laughs> kind of big anyway thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye